let's start the video by showing you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 10.6 to 11.0. How to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS. Remember, this only works on firmware versions from 10.6 to 11.0. To check your firmware version, open system settings and the firmware version will be displayed on the top screen. Now, let's get started. Remove the SD card from your 3DS. This can be a full size SD card or a micro SD card, depending on your 3DS model. After you've removed the SD card, insert it into your computer. Before we start homebrewing the 3DS, back up the SD card files, just in case anything goes wrong. After you've backed up the 3DS SD card, download the file named Homebrew Files which is linked in the description. Extract the files, then copy them to the root directory of the 3DS SD card. Now eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. Now, on your 3DS, set the theme to one of the default themes. This won't work if you use a theme from the eShop. After that, open the 3DS web browser, clear your cookies and delete all saved data.
open the web browser again and type in the URL that's on screen now. It's also typed in the description. If you get an error or get kicked back to the home menu, just try again. For me, it worked first time. Now we can access the home pre launcher. Now, for the final step, select Menu Hacks Manager from the Homebrew Launcher and run it. Press A on the first menu to install it. Press B on the menu after that, then after it loads, press A to continue. On the final menu, where it asks you to install it again, press the power button. Now, turn the 3DS on and hold the L button while it's turning on, and you will boot into the Homebrew Launcher. That's it, your 3DS is now homebrewed. How to play NES games and GBA games on your Nintendo 3DS for free. Your 3DS will need to be homebrewed to do this. If your 3DS isn't homebrewed, you can watch the video tutorial I made showing you how to do it using the link below. Now, let's get started. Turn on your 3DS and hold the L button while it's turning on to access the homebrew launcher. Now that you're in the homebrew launcher, look for these two apps. MGBA and Quick NES. If you don't see these apps in your homebrew launcher, you can download them using the link below. Remove the SD card from the 3DS and insert it into the PC. On your desktop, Make a folder and name it ROMs. Inside that folder, make two new folders. Name one of them GBA and the other NES. Now, go on your favourite ROM downloading website and download some NES and GBA ROMs. You can download some NES and GBA ROMs using the links below. I've already got some on my PC. After you've got the ROMs you want, copy the NES ROMs to the NES folder. Copy the GBA ROMs to the GBA folder. Now, copy the ROMs folder onto your 3DS SD card. Eject the SD card from your computer and put it back into your 3DS. Open the homebrew launcher by holding L and powering on the 3DS at the same time. Let's test the GBA ROMs first. Scroll down on the Homebrew Launcher and run MGBA. Navigate to the ROMs folder, then open the GBA folder and run one of the GBA ROMs.
after you load a GBA ROM in the GBA emulator, the sound can sound a bit weird for a few minutes. Other than that, it plays very well. You can press the Y button on your 3DS to choose how the game is displayed. Now let's try playing NES ROMs. Go back to the homebrew launcher and run Quick NES. Press A on Load Content, then navigate to the ROMs folder and open the NES folder, then run one of the games inside. To remove the code that's on the bottom screen, just touch the screen. This one works better than the GBA emulator. It sounds great all the time and it plays just like the original NES. How to get custom themes on your Nintendo 3DS. Your 3DS will need to be homebrewed to do this. If your 3DS isn't homebrewed, you can find out how by using the link below. This method is completely free. You don't have to buy any from the theme shop like you usually would. Here are some examples of the themes that you can download for free. There's Mario themes, Kirby themes, Super Smash Bros themes and Bonzi Buddy. Any game that's on the 3DS, there's probably a theme for it. And even movies and TV shows. Now that you've seen some examples, Let's install some themes on your 3DS. Open the homebrew launcher as normal by powering on your 3DS and holding the L button and opening the homebrew launcher. There should be a homebrew app named CHMM2, a theme manager for the 3DS. If you don't see this app in your homebrew launcher, you can find a link for it below. Now let's get started. Take the SD card out from your 3DS and put it into your PC. Go to this website which is linked below. You can see here there are really thousands of themes. There's so many of them, so you'll have to look for your own theme, I can't show them all. In the top left corner, there's a magnifying glass icon. If you click it, you can search for a theme. Now let's find a good theme and download it. Here's one called Windows XP. If you press the play button that's on the website, you can listen to the music that will play when you're on the home menu. Let's install the Windows XP theme for this tutorial. Download the theme, then extract the zip file to your desktop. Inside, there is a README and a preview. Look at the preview just in case you get any themes mixed up. Open the 3DS SD card using File Explorer and look for the theme folder that's on the root of the 3DS SD card.
you can see the themes I used for the example in here. Drag the theme and put it into the themes folder on the 3DS SD card. That's all you have to do on a computer. Now eject the 3DS SD card or close the micro SD management software on the 3DS. Now put the SD card back into your 3DS and turn it on. You can see that you've still got the same theme as you had before. That's because we have to install it now. Turn your 3DS off and open the Homebrew Launcher like we did before. Now that you're in the Homebrew Launcher, open the app named CHMM2. After it loads, you can see all the themes that you have on your 3DS SD card. Use the D-pad to scroll through the themes. When you see the theme that you just downloaded, press A while it's selected and it will install. Wait about 10 seconds, then press Start and select Exit, then press A. It will then take you back to the Homebrew Launcher. On the Homebrew Launcher, press Start then press A and it will reboot your 3DS. Now you can see that the theme you just installed has been applied to your 3DS home menu. How to get unlimited play coins on your Nintendo 3DS. This method does not involve you having to shake your 3DS for 10 hours straight to get one play coin. We are going to have 300 play coins by the end of this video. Your 3DS will need to be homebrewed to do this. If your 3DS isn't homebrewed, you can learn how to do it by using the link below. Turn your 3DS off, then load the homebrew launcher as normal by powering on your 3DS and holding the L button. Now that you're in the Homebrew Launcher, look for this app. If you don't see this app in your Homebrew Launcher, you can download the app by using the link below. All you have to do is open the app and you'll see three options on the bottom screen. The options on the bottom screen will be set play coins to 0, set play coins to 10, and set play coins to 300. I'm going to choose 300 for this video. If you want to choose a different one, use the D-pad to change the option then press A when it's selected. After you've done that and it's finished loading, press the B button. You should be taken back to the Homebrew Launcher. Now press Start, then press A and your 3DS will reboot. And now on my 3DS you can see that I have 300 play coins. If you don't think this is real or if these are fake play coins, Here's some proof. Let's open Kirby Triple Deluxe and try buying some keychains. You can see that it worked perfectly. Now let's try Street Pass Me Plaza.
let's try buying some puzzle pieces. Yep, this works as normal. Now let's try hiring old allies on Street Pass Quest. You can see that these are real play coins and you can spend them on anything. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.